Hello everyone, welcome back to another Calamity video, and in this video I want to defeat the Wall of Flesh, prepare for the Wall of Flesh, and maybe do some stuff in hard mode depending on what happens. As you can see, I also made a lot of progress on my base compared to the last episode, so that's pretty cool. I hope you enjoy the video. So I still need to build the Hell Bridge to actually defeat the Wall of Flesh, and there are a couple things that I wanted to talk about while I'm doing that. First of all, I did uninstall the Alchemist NPC mod. I did download the Alchemist NPC Light mod though, so basically I have all the NPCs, just none of the extra items and stuff like that. I just realized I could also be using my slime mount to go faster down the elevator, but I kind of forgot about that. I'm probably going to be primarily using these gel darts here, because they can bounce and hit the wall of flesh multiple times, so I think that's definitely very good. Um, I do have like about 10 guide voodoo dolls, so I have many chances. I think Calamity does buff the spawn rate of the Voodoo Demons, so that's really nice, but it does increase your chance of spawning the Wall Flesh accidentally by a lot. I'm probably also going to use a decent amount of potions for the Wall Flesh fight, just because I don't really want to take any chances. Of course, there's no risk to actually dying, but, you know, I'd rather beat it on the first try if I can. I'm also building the Hell Bridge pretty close to the ceiling so that the gel darts can bounce more often. Because if I throw a gel dart right about here, you can see it's bouncing a lot, which will do more damage to the wall flesh. Also, in Calamity, hard mode is only like the beginning. In regular Terraria, a hard mode is like the final part of your world. It's the second half. In Calamity, it's like the, the middle, which I'm very excited about. Um, I think there's also an extra biome in the underworld that I've yet to find. So that's definitely something I'm going to have to look for because there is special ens essence that spawns there that is used for various crafting recipes. Okay, so I'm now ready for the Wall of Flesh. I did finish the Hellbridge and I'm also using some extra buffs from Calamity. So let's get into it. Let's spawn the boss. I'm going to use this for now. This, um, I don't even know how to pronounce this weapon's name. Let's actually zoom out. But I'm going to use this for now just because it's long range. Once I get closer, I'll use the gel darts. As you can see, they are bouncing and hitting the wall of flesh multiple times, I think? Possibly? I can't tell completely. I want to focus more on damage than um, actually surviving. Also, I was lagging a little bit there. That was not your video. Okay, it's almost at 50% HP. It's a very laggy fight for some reason. I think I built it a little too close to the ceiling. Like, I have no room to even jump. Also, the knives can't even bounce. Oh my gosh. It just lunged forward for some reason. Oh my gosh. Ow. Every now and then it just lunges forward. I think if I just stand still I can actually avoid all these lasers? Yeah. If I stand still and like run backwards I can avoid the lasers. Oh my gosh. Oh. The red lasers are a little harder to avoid. I think those are the modded ones. I think the purple are vanilla. Oh. I'm out of room. This is gonna get interesting. Hopefully... Uh-oh. This isn't good. This isn't good. This isn't good. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. The electricity aura actually makes it harder to navigate. I can barely see where I'm going. I don't have a heal. I'm on heal cooldown. Could still win. 
It's just going to be very lucky if we do. I don't have a water walking potion either. Yes! Let's go. Okay. Let's actually check out the loot. Let's go to the surface though. Whew. Alright. What do we got here? Hermit's box of 100 medicines. Use the item with right click in the hotbar to toggle the third sage's blessing. With this blessing, the player will spawn a full health rather than half. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of cool. It's definitely kind of useful if you're getting spawn killed or something like that. Charm of Luck. This is an alchemist NPC light thing. While this is in your, in your inventory, you have a better chance of getting better reforges. That's cool. I'm. That's actually really cool. I am definitely going to use that a lot. Let's see, the calming potion. Grenade shell. Alright, I think it's actually time to open the actual wall flesh treasure bag now. Boom. Alright. Got a black hawk remote. Remote. Oh shoot, we got a we got an airplane. I do want to let me disable this uh where's the electricity buff? There it is. Much better. What do we got here? Corruption key. Uh demon heart, let's use that. What do we got here? Demon trophy, boost spawn rate by 1.25 times. The effects cannot be reversed. Do I want to use this? Because it does increase the spawn rate of everything. I'm just going to use it. I think it shouldn't really make much of a difference. It should just make like farming easier. There's actually still some stuff on the ground. So there's the pawn hammer. Alright. There's the remote. Clockwork assault rifle. This will be maybe useful. It is a decent weapon for early hard mode. Um, I'm definitely going to actually go and break some demon altars because I did disable corruption in Crimson Spreading, so I am going to break as much of those as possible. Uh, the altars will also not spawn any new corruption whenever I break it, so that's useful. The Wall of Flesh. I see the deed is done. The unholy... Hold on, give me a second. Amalgamation of flesh and hatred has been defeated. Prepare to face the terrors that lurk in the light and dark parts of this world. Favor this item to gain an increased item grab range. Okay, so this is a just a positive thing. Usually there's a kind of a catch to these, but this is not. That's good. The Underworld. These obsidian and hellstone towers were once home to thousands of people, in quotations. Unfortunately for them, they were twisted by their inner demons until they were beyond saving. Favor this item to prevent voodoo demons from dropping voodoo dolls. Oh my gosh, I'm definitely doing that. I accidentally spawned the wall of flesh so many times. Got sorcerer's emblem. Obviously, I was hoping for a rogue emblem. Actually, you might be able to change it into a rogue emblem with one of my mods. No, it doesn't look like you can. Okay, so time to break some demon altars. And yes, the hollow did spawn right through the corruption. I didn't even know that was possible. So we got cobalt. Mithril and please titanium. Adamantite, whatever. Be that way. I can still buy titanium if I have to. But corruption is actually very ahead of crimson in terms of the amount of altars that it has. Corruption has so many altars compared to crimson. So it's in the snow biome and actually killed something, and I found an essence of Elium from that creature. And I looked at the recipes, and I can actually make the what is it called? Cry key. With 50 ice blocks, 3 souls of night and light, and then 3 or 5 essence of Elium. And that's how you summon Cryogen, so. That's definitely a very cheap recipe. I'm very happy that it's cheap. So. Maybe we can try that in the next episode. I don't think we're gonna have time for it in this episode, nor am I prepared enough for it, but. That's definitely happening in the near future. I also wanted to do a time lapse of me building a quick mob grinder underground in the caverns layer. Keep in mind that this was built in pre-hard mode, so time lapse go.
Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next Calamity video. Bye, everyone.